Hi, my name is Lasse and I'm Ecosystem Manager for Industrial AI Services. And I'm Henning, I'm an AI expert. So, we are looking forward to an interesting session on industrial AI services today because we'll tackle the question what AI services and pizza production do have in common. So, Lasse, can you tell us what's driving our customers right now in terms of industrial AI? Sure. Customers are looking into getting the most out of their production, so increasing and ensuring the productivity. Productivity means availability of the machines, but also to ensure a proper throughput and a product quality. And can you imagine that still today in a highly automized production, every single pizza which comes out of the line is manually being inspected? And this is something where AI comes into place because AI can really help here. So if we tackle a project like that, what are the important steps we need to take? Yeah, good question, Lasse. So I think there are three main steps we really need to ensure to, to have a proper foundation for our project. So first of all is have a nice and impactful use case. There are plenty of use cases around where people just want to do something with AI because it's you know fancy and modern, but uh, I think it's very important to have a, a clear business case behind and a clear impactful um, thing that AI can solve for the customer. And here we support with consulting services, data readiness uh, and data strategy consulting to really help our customers to find this impactful use case. The second important step is because AI is mostly associated with kind of magic uh, and everything is possible with it, um, is to check if data is there and if with the help of algorithms of various kinds, it's, it, if it is possible to solve that problem, to predict, for example, as you said, the pizza quality at all, or if data is missing, or if the inspection doesn't really work technically. So if this proof of value, we call it, session is ready and it's feasible to do so, then the third important step is to industrial grade integrate and operate this solution. Um, that means we will deploy the trained AI models on industrial edge devices, for example, or in uh, proper cloud environments and help our customers to govern the life cycle and sustainably guarantee that predictions are trustworthy over operation. Well, and if we get back to the pizza example, Managed operations are mainly required because also there, even you produce the same pizza, there can be changes in the, in the environment which would lead to, yeah, to an impact on the AI model. So, Henning, what are, what are typical, let's say, incidents or changes which can occur there? There are many. So, I think we'll, we could use plenty of hours here to discuss on dynamics on industrial shop floors. So if you compare AI, as you know it, for example, from your Siri uh, phone, um, the, the speech agent, it's not really critical if this fails or if it didn't understand your words right. Then you do it again and again, and after that maybe, yeah, you leave it. It's okay. But in industrial context, especially if we rely on predictions, as you said, uh, that give us an indication on product quality, their AI installations basically become mission critical. So we really have, an, like any other hardware, we have systems in place that we really need to ensure that they function and operate reliable, robust and secure to, to guarantee and really rely on their outputs, right? Would be a pity if pizzas go out to the market and the salami slices are not arranged nicely, right? So, what a, what a quality gap, I would say. So, I mean, taking it serious again, the, the mission criticality in industry is one of the main challenges. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, nobody wants to have a bad pizza ending up on the plate. Yep. So, um, yeah, this is really something where we need to ensure not only once the AI model is working, but also then uh, going, going down the road and maintain the model throughout the life cycle. So, such as every other machine I need to maintain, right? Right. I mean, so far we talked very much about AI models, right? And uh, how industrial shop floor 
uh, affects them and probably leads to instabilities. But for holistic AI approaches in industry, there's much more than only AI or pure AI knowledge. For example, um, we have a comprehensive simulation and software portfolio within Siemens that we sometimes use to synthetically generate data because in industry, we most have really shortcomings when it comes to databases. So if you think to Google or Facebook, I mean, they have billions of, of gigabytes of data where they can train the algorithms on. When you go to a plant or manufacturing site, there is only rare or little data. And in that sense, most of the time, really imbalanced. And imbalanced means you have, I don't know, a lot of instances on, on good data, but on the interesting bad ones, which you would like to predict, for example, there are only little to no data. So, so on, on one thing, you can we can synthetically generate it or also use other algorithmic mod modules there to be able to train on a few shots um, of, of these observations. So in that example, you mean most of the pizzas are already good. Yep. So you have very much examples of good pizza, but only very, very little of bad pizzas. But of course, this is exactly where you want to have the prediction, right? Yeah, exactly. Maybe you have these examples on your production line, but the question is, do you have, did you or do you have data recordings of it? That's the interesting question mm -hmm. when it comes to AI. And I mean, another discipline would be that's required besides you know, the modeling part in general is edge computing. So w when we're talking in industry, we are talking about, yeah, let's say near real-time performance. So we need the models in parallel to the production line to be operated. And sometimes we need acceleration hardware for it or edge computing devices like industrial edge um, computing PCs. This is all in all a big bunch of expertise that we need to properly and holistically tackle um, industrial AI for our customers. So to sum it up, we need the hardware, we need the software, and we need the services. Hardware on the shop floor, such like the automation and the edge computing, software in order to train, deploy, and operate the AI models, and then the services to make sure everything is working fine also in the long run. So the benefits are obvious. With our predictive services, we can increase the uptime of the machines by predicting failures very early and react to it. With our closed loop analytic services, we can predict the product quality and yeah, conduct the, the customer project from the very beginning, the ideation phase, up to the operating AI model on the shop floor. And with both that, we help our customers to increase their overall equipment effectiveness. Now, if you have a specific use case you want to discuss with us, please reach out to us either via our website or directly, and we are more than happy to discuss with you. And we as Siemens are your trusted partner when it comes to end-to-end -end integration of industrial-grade AI applications. So, as I said, robust, reliable and secure is crucial in industry. And next time you take your pizza and you wonder why it's so nicely arranged, think of us, there's more AI services in it than you know.